now we are going to understand the IBM Cognos Analytics Report Studio user interface. In IBM Cognos 11, our quick access toolbar is missing from the top. Where is our quick access toolbar? In IBM Cognos 10, you are able to find your quick access toolbar just here. So my report is saved successfully. And if, right now, if you are able to see our this edit icon is selected. If I'm going to unselect this, then by default, my report is executed successfully. This is Nayang Sangvi and thanks for tuning in to Lemon. In this video, hello everyone, this is Nayang Sangvi from Lemon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Analytics tutorial video. And in this video, we are going to create our first report. In our previous video, we created our first data module auto shipment details and we are going to use the same data module for creating our first report if you want to watch this video the video url is available in the description of this video or you can click on this now for creating our report we have two options first we can click on this then we can click on create report or we can click on new and create report now what is the difference between this option and this option oops let me go back on home let me click on this and this option so what is the difference between this option and this option if you are going to click on this and if you are going to click on this create report then by default your this data module is going to be selected but if you are going to click on new and then if you are going to click on report then your data model is not yet selected okay in both the option you need to first select the template so this is all available option for our templates you are able to notice on this report we have a right icon all these templates all the templates with right icon are for active report this other template is for your normal reports i don't want to create an active report right now i want to create a normal report for this i'm going to select any one of this template so let's start with a blank template so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to click on ok and before click on ok we have one more option to select the theme for our report so let's say I want to select green theme for my report. So I'm going to select this. I already selected my template. I selected my theme and then I'm going to click on OK. Now our new report is created successfully. So let me create a duplicate for this. Let me click on cancel. OK. So we created this report by clicking on new and report. Our data module, our data module is not selected for this option let's say if i'm going to click on this and then if i'm going to click on report again we have option to select template again we can select team and then finally we want to click on ok now here by default our data module is selected if you want to select a data module in this then you need to click on this plus icon and then click on my content because my data module is available inside my content so that's why i selected my content folder then we can select data modules and then we are going to select our order shipment details data module then we are going to click on open now our this step and this step on same level so let me quickly close one of this so let's say i want to close this yes and let's see okay now we have only now now we are going to understand the ibm cognos analytics report studio user interface for personal group or online training contact us on our number or you can drop us a mail on our email id on the left the first icon is for home if i am to click on this we are going to redirect on our welcome ibm cognos analytics page i don't want this Okay, so I'm not going to click on this. The next the by default selected is our data. Inside this, we are able to see our source, 
so inside our source we have our data module and under our data module we have our two tables and this is the columns for our tables then we have data items right now we did not create anything so that's why our data item is blank so let's click on source now we have a quick search option here if you want to search any table or column we can search from here so let's say i want to select order id my order id is just here let's say i want to find company name this is my company name next we have toolbox again inside toolbox we have a quick search option where we can search for required toolbox item so let's say i'm looking for list form so let's say i'm looking for list then i need to click on list let's say i'm looking for value prop then i need to type ba then this is the matching for ba okay next we have a button to expand everything and collapse next we have option to arrange our toolbox item right now everything is in a list if we are going to click on this now our toolbox item arrange in a grid so let me change it back to list because i prefer this method so this is about toolbox next is our next we have our reports inside reports we have our pages from pages and classes and in the last we have queries inside queries we have query explorer and condition explorer again we have quick search box to search queries or condition explorer now let's compare this with ibm Fauna stand so this is our data and inside data we have source our data items and our toolbox and just below this we have our property now where is our property in ibm Fauna's analytics properties are available just here so if you are going to click on this our properties are now visible in the center we have our main work area similarly this is our work area in ibm Cognos 11 our quick access toolbar is missing from the top where is our quick access toolbar in ibm Cognos 10 you are able to find your quick access toolbar just here but it is missing from IBM Cognos 11 or IBM Cognos Analytics instead of this we have a new option let's say I want to add a list inside this for this I need to click on this plus icon and now I can select a cross tape list or I can add a graph from here I think this new feature is very nice so let's say I want to add a list so I'm going to click on this then this is where we need to define our list name and we can select our query name click on ok then your list is going to be added and finally your list is added successfully the next thing we can add our next we can add columns so let me select this and i want to delete this so this is a way to add a list or you can use toolbox find your list drag and drop here again select your list name query name or you can select your columns so let's say order date let's say i want to add all this i'm going to select everything and then i'm going to drag and drop here so this is how you can add lists in your report let me click on this undo let me again add a list with fewer items so this time I'm to select only order date and price and i'm going to edit here okay finally our list is added successfully now if you are able to notice we have this toolbar or you can say this is your quick access toolbar it is going to change based on your selected item so right now our list is selected so we have option for adding filter we have a eyedropper for formatting we can change the font we can add borders we can change the background color we can convert this list inside we can convert this list into a chart column chart bar chart 
we converted our list into a chart now our options are changed so let me quickly click on undo because we need to explore more option here then we have option for selecting the parent right now our list is selected so if we are want to select our page body page or report so we can use this and last we have more option column title style column body style we can select our header and footer we can select header and footer for page also from here we can click on we can go to query cut copy and delete okay and finally we have option to control visual aids so right now my list is selected let's say i want to select let's select a column and based on the column again our options are now changed now we have additional option for sorting we have option for summarize we have option for insert a calculation we have option for group and group we have option for section unsection and we have a new option for data format horizontal alignment vertical alignment in com in ibm corners 10 all these options are available in our toolbar on the top ibm corners 11 or ibm corners analytics this is about quick access toolbar so let me quickly add a new header page header and let's say i want to add a report header so i need to click on ok so the next thing i want to add is i want to add the text item for this i am going to click on this toolbox we can select text item from here drag and drop here or or i can click on this plus icon and i need to select text item finally we're going to provide a good name for our report so let's say it's a order detail report let's say okay and now our header is created successfully now i can click on this and now we have option to select the font family size weight style for our header so we open this dialog from our quick access toolbar if you want to open the same dialog from property then you need to select your property and then you need to click on this font and our same dialog is now appear so let me quickly select a font family i want font size 20 point bold apply okay now i want to arrange this for this i need to click on this toolbar uh, i'm going to select this header and now we have option for alignment so i need to select center alignment and for vertically i need to select middle okay finally our header is also created successfully this is about the ibm kaunos analytics user interface and we are going to learn more about this in our upcoming videos before closing this i want to first before closing this video i want to show you one more thing in ibm kaunos analytics or ibm kaunos 10.2.2 and higher you have option for live visiting so i'm going to click on this and if I'm going to click on page preview, okay, so our report is not run be, uh, because of server error. So let's say I want to switch back to design view and let me remove this order date. And let's say I want another column. So let's say I want company name here. And let me switch back to page preview one more time. And let's hope for the best and see now if we are going to change anything then immediately we are able to see its effect on our report so let's say if i'm going to add a ship country here and now we are able to see the live changes for our report okay so this is about the page preview and let me quickly click and if you want to run this report you can click on this play button and then you can select your required output and finally if you want to save this report you can click on this save icon select your location 
so contain data modules i want to say i want to create a new folder and i'm going to say my reports and i'm to select this folder and then i'm going to name it my post or report that's it and finally i'm going to click on save and now our report is saved successfully so my report is saved successfully and if right now if you are able to see our this edit icon is selected if i'm going to unselect this then by default my report is executed successfully so this is about ibm cognos analytics user interface for report studio and how to create your first report in ibm cognos analytics in our next video we are going to explore more options we are going to add graphs charts maps in our this report so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe like share it with your friend provide your feedback and see you all in next video some important URLs.